everyone. I'm still working on my video going over my myth busters about home remedies that people say works against battling mice, pack rats, or anything like that. So stay tuned for that next video because I'm still trying out one other thing that I'll go over with you guys in just a little bit. But while I'm figuring that one out, um, I thought I would try one other thing that came to my mind. And while I was thinking that I could use this, it opened up a whole different subject of a myth buster that I want to go over with everybody, and that is using bear spray. Especially so many ladies out there that are traveling. I've heard it by even some people with some big channels saying, oh yeah, you can use bear spray against a human all right and you're in your vehicle and they think you're going to grab this bear spray and you're going to be able to spray at somebody well i discovered that is not a good idea so let's get started and we're going to go over <laughs> that myth buster about using bear spray in that kind of way Well, what started this adventure is I brought this situation up on my Facebook group with my family and friends and they started to suggest getting a hot pepper spray and they make it out there to help with mice and pack rats and stuff like that and, and you can spray it in your engine and keep them off your engine. And there is a particular brand out there somebody was suggesting to look for and it's called anti rat pro and it has a trademark and it's somebody who i heard was a van traveler and came up with that and then trademark trademarked it so i don't know what all the ingredients are in that particular one and it's too hard to get right now because I could only find it from their website right and I'm going to be leaving here shortly so now there's not enough time before I could get it to give that a try but yet I still was thinking I need to give this a try and you're gonna have to wait for the next video to find out why okay as I piece all of this together um, for those that might be new to watching my channel is my big battle against peck rats in my engine right and trying to figure out all these myth busters going on what works right so I thought well let me give this a try before I piece the next video together so I have all the information down is what I want to do so I made a, my own little concoction and you can go online and they have different kinds of recipes you can get for ingredients of making your own homemade hot pepper spray against rodents so I did that and then I also got to thinking oh my gosh well let me try bear spray maybe I could you know think about doing bear spray and spray that you know just a little you know inside my compartment or the dog house or in around that area of course not with being inside the van <laughs> but somehow kind of do it but stay back okay well so when I had that brilliant idea it was kind of a win-win situation because I've been in bear country and there's two things. One, what if I ever had to use this against a bear? How does it really work? I mean, I've seen it on videos, but never in person what the effect of the spray is. 
And secondly, I've heard women, as I mentioned, say you could use this for protection. And I've always known, my gut, with any kind of spray, that is not a smart idea inside of a sm small space. But I think they had no idea of how potent this stuff can be. So, what I thought I would do is, I had an extra one, is let me give it a try. Outside. See how it even works. So what I did is I took a piece of paper and I ended up taking that piece of paper and I, you know, folded it in half and I stuck a rock and I put it on a stump, basically. And I stood back, because it says on here to be 35 feet, right, from the bear. And then when you spray it, it's going to take, it says five seconds, seconds, approximately five seconds for it to unload with you keeping your finger on the trigger, okay? So I thought, well, let me just give it a try because it says if you want to practice a little bit, you could just do a half, basically a approximate halfway little spurt and then release quickly, half a second, sorry, half a second, and then release quickly. And I thought, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to experiment because I want to figure, I want to figure this stuff out because I've got two of them, a newer one, this is my older one. And I thought, you know, you never know. <laughs> Maybe I could use it for a lot of other different reasons. I'm not sure if I would trust the old one against a bear. They say to replace them every couple of years because they can lose their, you know, uh, power of the of the spray. So anyways, I thought, well, let me try it for this. So I ended up getting everything ready, setting it up. Always make sure your wind, right, is not coming at you. It's behind you. Uh, it really wasn't even breezy that day at all. So there was not, I mean, maybe a tiny little trickle. So made sure it was in the right position and it kind of was just slightly at an angle away from me and a little bit more to this direction from me, right, where I was sh shooting it. So I just did a couple little pish, you know, pish, you know, I should have filmed it, but I didn't. Um, but forgive me for that. But I was with Kent and he does not like to be in front of the camera a lot and I have to respect his privacy. So I did that to see if I could spray my doghouse, maybe even my engine area <laughs> with this stuff. And, um, and it went really well at that point. And I was like, whoa, you know. Um, but the spray was pretty potent even at that level. So I go and I retrieve this. And at that point, I'm not feeling any impact from this, nothing at all. Just how the impact of the spray, which was pretty interesting to discover how big is the, the spray or the cloud, the fog, whatever you want to call it, that comes from it. So then I end up retrieving this. We're starting to kind of uh, walk back onto the dirt road and start to go back to where his camper was because his camper was right kind of that direction as I'm pointing um, because we were over to the more north of his camper and the wind was going a little bit more um, southwest, right, more to where his van, uh, his camper is. So I get this and I start to, you know, sniff it like, does it have even a smell to it? Because when I'm thinking to retrieve rodents is it's got to have a pretty good smell um, and maybe even hot or hot pepper like this if they try to gnaw on something. And you're going to understand why I'm going through this discovery when you see my last video, <laughs> okay? It'll all make sense. But in the meantime, I'm discovering some cool things about this. So I'm kind of, you know, sniffing it and thinking, well, I really don't smell something. Like I mean, it didn't hit me in the face. It wasn't like, 
oh my gosh, is that really bad, you know? But also, I don't have a really strong sense of smell because I have allergies. So I'm kind of, you know, kind of trying to smell it and I'm thinking, well, I don't know, and I smell it again, and we're actually starting to walk back towards his camper as I'm kind of doing this, and the, the after effect of the spray was lingering still in the air, which I thought was pretty interesting, because <laughs> we kind of walked into it, yet we couldn't see it. It wasn't really, like, you know, there in our face, but apparently, because it wasn't extremely windy, it was still kind of lingering, okay? So we're kind of walking, then all of a sudden, oh my gosh, I cannot believe what happened next. Uh, my nose was just burning. It was just running. My eyes started tearing up. I started coughing. I was like, oh my gosh, what is, what is happening? It, this is awful, you know? And um, I do have an EpiPen back over at my van, but I don't even know where it is. It's an old one. I don't have a new one because I don't have a lot of issues. And uh, so anyways, I'm thinking, am I going to be okay? Because it is all hitting all of my senses, my nose, my, my lungs. I'm coughing, I'm coughing and coughing. My nose is running, my eyes are, I mean, I took off my glasses. I'm going, look, oh my gosh, and I'm just about tearing, you know, from the water coming from my eyes. And it was so intense. I can't even tell you how bad and how intense that was, <laughs> you know? And the only thing we could think about was there was enough of the residue of it lingering <laughs> in, in that little bit of an area as we were moving, uh, walking back towards this camper. I went, oh my God, it, it was just so intense for a while it took to get over it. In fact, even the next day I kind of woke up and my, my, one of my sinuses was a little bit plugged up and, and I felt like it was swollen, you know, my sinuses. So the bottom line is, I did this outside. I did this, you know, when there wasn't any breeze, okay, not much. And a lot of people say that you're going to use this inside of your vehicle for number one against a, an assailant? No possible way. It, you were in the vehicle with it and even the slightest amount of it in, in towards you or having any contact with it at all. Mind you, I just barely breathe a couple, you know, trying to... I, trying to get the smell of it, you know, from this. And it was so intense. I cannot even fathom trying to use it in that kind of a way. Don't do it. And also it says, do not use it on humans. And you better know the legal measures, you know, if you did use it, because many states will look at this as if you are using a weapon. Okay, you can use a bear, human bear spray or pepper spray, but this is different um, and you need to know the law in that state you're going through. In fact, I believe it's in California, but double check me on that. I don't spend a whole lot of time in California, but I'm pretty sure it's California that they don't even allow you to carry pepper spray when you're out on a hike or something. Um, so be careful, know the law, and um, because you could go up on charges of using this towards a human. So I just want to mention that. But even if, let's suppose you're in a place that they do consider, okay, yeah, you, you could use this on a human if you had to. If it was a matter of protecting your life, you are going to be in serious trouble with this as well. 
I just want to get that out there because that was quite a discovery. So bad that even from a distance, there was no way I was going to spray this in my doghouse or in around my engine area where any of the effects of this could come into that van where I could end up breathing this. That's how intense it was. So what I am so thankful that I discovered is now, if I ever had to use that against a bear, because I will be going into bear country pretty soon, and I will know how it works. I will have a better idea of, you know, practicing now. They always say practice, practice, practice. So carry it. Keep the safety on. If you had to pull it out, Here's a bear, what are you gonna do? Practice, practice so that becomes so natural to you. Because one of the things that I was telling Kent when I did this, I said, oh my gosh, if a bear is charging you and that wind is coming at you at the same time that you are going to have to try to, you know, pull that trigger, um, that is not going to be good. For one, it's going to come more at you than onto the bear, right? That bear is going to have to be a lot closer to you by the time you pulled it out. Come to the side and spray it more at an angle so that way you are protecting yourself from the wind, from the, from, you know, the, at the spray, the after spray it could be a bad situation and knock you down or blind you and then you're not even going to be able to see now where is this bear, <laughs> you know. Um, but again, they usually charge. They're usually on you within 30 seconds. So you really don't have a lot of time if a bear is going to charge you to uh, do you harm. Normally they just kind of do a bluff charge. But if they are defending cubs or something like that, they've even been known to go right through sometimes the um, spray, which that blows me away now that I've seen the effects of it. Like how in the world can a bear do that? You know, but sometimes they, there's so much on adrenaline that some of them have even gone and, and charged right through the spray, which is absolutely crazy. But in, again, they say 92% of the times of using that, it does detour a bear, you know. Um, but do know your win. Practice, practice, practice with the wind. How are you going to use it? If whatever your condition is surrounding you, okay? So that's the best advice. That's what I'm going to do. But never use that inside of a vehicle ever never and against a person i guess you may decide to do that if it was life and death and then you can just go before the judge and present your case but again you're going to be hurt too pretty bad from it so that's what i wanted to say <laughs> um yeah I mean, you wouldn't even be able to pro get into your vehicle and, and attempt to drive away if you were thinking you're going to do that and then be able to get up front and drive away. Oh gosh, my eyes were watering so freaking bad in my nose and I was coughing and coughing and coughing and my eyes were tearing and oh, can you imagine trying to grab your keys after you sprayed that at somebody and you're still thinking you're going to get in front of your vehicle and drive away? Mm-mm. I... Psh it's not happening. <laughs> All right, so if you have any other questions or anything that you've thought of or you have any experience using bear spray, um, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool subject to uh, just talk about, <laughs> you know. I'm so glad I ended up practicing a little bit with it just to, um, yeah, just really get familiar with it. I'm glad I had that extra one and that was the smartest thing I ever could have finally done and I'm trying to be more prepared in so many different situations and and also working through some of these myths that are out there um, as well. Alright, so I love you all and I look forward to seeing you in the next video as I piece together some of the other things that I've discovered, remember, with battling 
pack rats, <laughs> rodents, and all the myths of people, or I should, well, we don't know if they're myths until I kind of share what I've discovered, but basically going over the home remedies that some people say work or doesn't work, I'll be disclosing what I found out, and I'm so excited to eventually piece together that video for you all, and I will see you then, and we'll also see if this hot pepper, my homemade hot pepper stuff, has worked as well. All right, I'll see you in that next video.